I have covered llama parse in the past quite a lot and I have always found it quite performant and easy to use. One of the best thing about llama parse is that it is quite cheap even if you are using the paid version but even in the free tier it is quite generous and I will show it to you shortly. Very recently llama parse has now ability to parse the excel files. If you have ever done data analytics with large language models, you know that how cumbersome it is to parse your Excel files. And most of the world uses Excel sheets to store their analytics data. In this video, I will be showing you the new feature of Llama Parse which enables you to handle spreadsheets, especially Excel, very easily and cleanly. Now you can even use your gnarliest and scariest Excel files and parse them with llama parse quite easily even if your excel file has lot of tables lot of sub tables and that sort of stuff rows and columns llama parse can handle it and as per llama parse github repo it can handle all kinds of spreadsheets including numbers so in this video i will be showing you how you can get it installed locally and then how you can parse a excel file which is of course microsoft product for spreadsheets I believe you can even use Google Sheets with it or any other kind of spreadsheet, which is a real beauty. Before I proceed further, you will need two kind of uh, API keys. One you would grab from Llama Cloud and just go to your browser and type llamaindex.ai and from there you can grab the cloud API key. The free plan, as you see here, contains 7000 free pages per week, which is quite generous. Hopefully I will still have some credit left so I would be able to show you. Another key you would need is that you would need to go to platform.openai.com and then grab your key from there. That is again a paid option. But if you are just creating an account, hopefully you should be able to get some credit. I'm not sure if it still works with other models. I think it does. So if you have used Llama Index with other models open source, you can still use it. But in my opinion, for data analytics, still OpenAI's um, GPT-4 is the best model, um, hands down. Okay, so now we know that uh, what sort of API keys we need. Let's go to my local system where I'm running a virtual machine with one GPU card. Both the virtual machine and GPU card have been sponsored very generously by our very good friend that Mast Compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU, I would highly recommend them. I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus a discount coupon which will give you 50% discount on various GPUs. Very flexible, no login, highly recommended. Okay, let me take you to Mast Compute's VM where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GPU of VRAM as you can see here and it is NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Now another thing I would suggest you do is you install Conda which will keep everything nice and simple and separate from your local system. So I will be creating this Llama Parse Conda environment. Let's wait for it to create it. It's going to take too long. Just press Y here and it is going to create the virtual environment through Conda. Let's go into that Conda environment by activating it. And you will see that now it is present in the parenthesis. So that is all done and sweet. Let's install a couple of packages. First is of course Llama Index because Llama Parse is natively integrated with uh, Llama Index. So let's first install Llama Index and then we will install Llama Parse. You don't take too long as I think most of the stuff was already cached on my system. Llama index is done. Now let's install Llama parse. And that is quite quick. Let's clear the screen. Okay, so now up till this point, all the prerequisites are done. Let me launch my Python interpreter. First up, let me do some housekeeping. I will just create a Lambda function which will enable me to clear the screen. That is done. And now import. Um, this uh, for because we'll be calling the API, so I'm just going to import this uh, nest async IO from my local system that is imported. Let's also apply it quickly. 
and now let's import the llama parse from the llama parse that is also done and now let's specify our api key from llama index.cloud and as i earlier showed you if you go to llama cloud which is cloud.llamaindex.ai you can generate a key from here so let me generate a new key and i will paste it there and in the terminal and clear the screen okay so i have parse a key and now i am just creating the parser through llama parse as you can see that is also very quick and now let me grab an excel file from my local system so the excel file i just created this mini finance.xlsx which contains some dummy finance data let me also show you so it just creates a segment country product and all that stuff and few rows 30 or 40 rows just for the sake of this demo and this i already have put it on my uh, local system where i have some product information and all that stuff so let's go back to my terminal and then let's load it so you see that it just started the parsing the file and it has already done it very very quickly and that was the job of llama parse now you can use any model in order to glean or extract intelligence out of that file so first up let's let me specify my open AI's api key again this is a paid option so let me put my key here and clear the screen and you can also get it from platform.openai.com i have set my key and i have um, cleared the screen and now let's import the open ai and the settings from a llama index and then let's grab our llm which is gpt4 in this case let's do the settings if you want to use any open source one by your already have other videos which you can follow to get it okay so that is done and now let's try to get an index so primarily what we are doing here we are basically doing the rag or retrieval augmented generation we have our own data which we want to ask questions from with the help of llm and we want to augment our prompt with our own data so that llm would have context because the spreadsheet which i showed you even gpt4 doesn't have any clue about your own company's product sales and all that stuff you need to provide it to llm so that llm would be able to get your natural language text prompts and then using its own intelligence from its own pre-trained data it will use your data to get intelligence out of your data so that is what the purpose of rag is and that is primarily we are doing we are doing rag on our own excel sheet with the help of it now in order to do rag what we need to do we need to first parse the data which we already have done with llama parse then we have to chunk it in small pieces then we have to convert them into embeddings or numerical representation or vectors and store it in the vector store so we are just using the vector store index in the llama index and then let's create that index on top of our document which the llama parse has already done and let's create a <clears throat> query engine which will use this index to answer our questions that is also done and now let's ask it a question so for the question one all i'm doing it i'm just asking it a natural language free flowing text at how many total units were sold in 2014 and query engine is, has taken it and then we can print it there you go so if you go to the excel sheet again then you will see that uh, at the very last column we have 2014 and then we have some unit sold column which is one two three four, it's the fifth column so it has just calculated it and if you do the calculation this is a perfect value amazing stuff and then similarly you can use uh, <clears throat> any other question let me ask it maybe another question from the same excel sheet i'm asking it which country had the biggest sales of product pasio there you go and now let me print the response so it says that canada had the biggest sales of product pasio so if you go back to the browser you will see that there is a PASIO product in like column number three and then you if you look at it canada really wins hands down with the unit sold. how good is that so now you can imagine that you can use your own files you can use your own data simply use llama parse to parse them properly no matter how hard how bad your excel file is just parse it use llama index to talk with 
GPT-4 in this case, which I have done, but you can use your own LLM, which you think is good for this retrieval and analytics by using Llama index. And you can create a full <coughs> rag file uh, or rag pipeline out of it. Locally free, I mean, of course, you're, in, you're paying for APIs here, but it's all local. And if you use the local indexes, then the only API cost you would need if you exceed 7,000, which is Llama parse. But even then, that is not that much. That's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.